a drink. <laughs> well, why not? You should have said. I know, I should. This is my father, by the way. This is from Philip and Leslie next door. How do you do? It's very small. Hello, Mr. Abby. <laughs> Thank you. Well, ladies, it's a Thank you. Right. Come into the big smile. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I'm going to get in this side. Shall I? You better get in the other side. I think, otherwise, I have to shuffle along. Good luck, Ben. Now, how do we do this? Father, can you get in, please? Help you hold the bouquet, Phil, and help Lloyd in. And then. When, when Lloyd gets up, get the bouquet off of her before she gets out the car. Right, now. Let's do it. Get your down.
come together in the presence of God and witness the marriage of John, Michael, Deborah, and Lorna Elizabeth to ask his blessing on him and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself the guest at the wedding in Cana of Galilee, and through this spirit he is with us now. The scriptures teach us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and the means of his grace, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that the husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives. They shall be one, and in that love, as Christ is united in the Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in pleasure, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with divine intelligence they may know each other in love, and through the joy of their bodily union, may strengthen the union of their hearts and love. It is given that they may have to and be blessed in heaven for them, and bring them up in accordance with God's will to his praise and glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another, and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should honor, and it must not be undertaken, carelessly, Fighting or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly, and after serious thought. This is the way of life created and hallowed by God. The wife and joy are now feeding. They will each give their consent to the other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows. And in turn, they will give. And receive the river. Therefore, on this then Wednesday, we pray with the strength of the divine by God, they will say,
52. Yeah, so far. You've got a friend who lives in Boston. Where's your question mark? You've got a question mark. We're only about, from the A1, we're about four. Hello, Hello darling girl. Four miles. Yeah. You look up cheap. Well done, okay. you did it You did it very well, Thank darling. You. Can we just, I've got to get... Oh, oh I know it. Yeah, Rafa, I don't want to watch camera keep breaking down. I've got to find... Look, Daddy. 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 He's got you need us for a picture and call. You're with me. So, uh, Hello, Billy Bullitt. Are you on record?
seconds of your time um, as best man um, for sure I hope quite obvious <laughs> um, people have come here today have not come to expect a conventional wedding or conventional line of speeches or anything normal because if they have a probably no friends of Mickey's or Roy's. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going to not be too conventional. And to start the ball rolling in an unconventional way, I am actually, just so I'm, I remind myself, I'm going to make a toast, first of all, to the bridesmaids, secondly, to Mickey and Roy, and then I'm going to hand over to somebody else, who I'll explain in a minute. And then, my brother, are we calling him Mickey by the way? I don't know what you call him. We call him Mickey. We'll have the honor and responsibility of responding. Um, so, it, here we go with my part. And I would like to start with the bridesmaids. And I think that everybody here, I they haven't got too much of a past, so I can't talk about them. <laughs> I can only talk about their present, as I see them today, and what a hell of a future they must have. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. 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 So I would just like to say congratulations. Thank you, young ladies. You did a wonderful job. Talk about you. The toast to the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. One is, if I'm too dull, you're going to start chatting amongst yourselves, which you're already doing, and go away. And if I give you anything close to the truth, his legal advisor, who I'm sure, I'm sure is around here somewhere, um, yeah. my customer carters. 
And I, uh, if you don't know who this man is, his <laughs> name is Ray Tooth, and he's difficult to see in a crowd. <laughs> well, actually, he's not, he's actually, he's difficult to see without a crowd. He's only about his height. <laughs> but he's very, very quick, and he might have me for... <laughs> would uh, live have you. Live, would, would have me for live. <laughs> so I'm walking somewhat of a tightrope. So it's got to be brief for those two reasons. Um, so I'll start off Mickey. Um, God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've been through the. Uh, I was trying to think of words that could describe him. <laughs> and that's not very easy. One word. So I end up with words that, that were quite inappropriate. And the words that I think you would all agree would be inappropriate. He is not dull, conventional, <laughs> cautious, <laughs> pessimistic. <laughs> It's gone a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to stop there. Got Ray, I'm sure Ray is here. Yes, <laughs> I'm recording it. Yeah, you are. You're, you're, you're recording it. Uh, what he is, um, very, very briefly, because I've got to be careful again, is he's an optimist. <laughs> he's an imaginative person. He's a creative person. He thinks, he always thinks in millions. <laughs> Who invited you? I'm a little, little, little aid here. My glasses. Um. Can you find my glasses? Yeah. What else is there? You have awful glasses. I, I put down, he's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Michael or Mick, the celebrity. You all know him. And if you haven't, if you don't know him, it's because you don't own a television set or a radio. <laughs> he's been on every radio program or television program that's um, been going for the last two or three years or four years. Uh, fortunately for us, possibly unfortunately for him, he's usually wearing a plastic bag over his head. <laughs> Smoke hoods, and you know, he is the innovator of smoke hoods. Um, and I, there's nothing I need to say about that because he said it all on um, every four <laughs> media. <possible. laughs> what I could say, uh, which might just be interesting, that's the only thing I say about him, <laughs> the reasons we mentioned, um, is his first invention. Now, he's, the, he's had hundreds, hundreds of inventions, <laughs> most of them are very good. <laughs> But he's had hundreds. But the first invention, I don't know if Mickey invented Oh, I've got better. Thank you very much. Um, the, the first invention was, strangely enough, about three miles from here. We lived here as boys um, during the war, and it was in 1940. Which war? <laughs> <laughs> Why is. That's North. Not was it? Um, <laughs> and um, we had a we had a, a wonderful time during the war. But Mickey, the innovative innovative part of Mickey was coming out at the age of about twelve or thirteen years old. And the first thing that I can remember him um, inventing was in fact an electric bicycle. <laughs> now it's very sensible because in the war very heavy petrol rationing and everything and nothing. So he decided he'd get around this by inventing an electric bicycle. And it's one of these big sit up and bake bicycles, <laughs> the big big crossbar up here. And um, there's only one other person other than he and I, and it's a chap called Jack Jeffs who is somewhere, who can vouch for this, but it's absolutely true. The launch of this electric 
everybody came out to see. <laughs> and he had a great big 12 volt battery on the on the on the, what do you call it? No, the not crossbar on the carrier behind the saddle, which was higher than the saddle. And anyway, he someone gave him a leg up, and he got on his bike, and we were all staying just as we are now, all standing around waiting for this thing to go off. And it went off beautifully. It went off in reverse. <laughs> Well, that was slightly funny. <laughs> but the other thing that I think may have been funnier, or see how you feel about it, was that this spilt the acid out <laughs> all over the saddle, <laughs> all down where he was sitting, <laughs> which instantly burned the seat out of his garden. <laughs> He got into quite hot water for uh, everybody at home for having ruined a pair of trousers. <laughs> but in actual fact, he probably did himself a lot more damage and had to go off to the doctors. <laughs> checked out for having done, you know, something irreparable. <laughs> now, I don't know, and I don't know if he knows this, but something peculiar did happen. He was about 13 years old. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now, right. I think it's time that the um, medical profession sort of try to check this out. It may be just a simple matter of acid, right place, the right place. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. Now, the, the other thing I just want to say is that very almost finished. Um, Mickey, the romantic. <laughs> And he has been, and is, very romantic. And he, you may, I don't know how many of you know this, but he actually went off to Spain to try to get a church in Spain called the Church for Virgins <laughs> of De La Pena <laughs> to marry Mickey and Lloyd. And this was to be a secret, and he wasn't going to tell Lloyd about this at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, and for reasons I have not heard, the church turned him down. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, eventually, he got round, um, finally, to asking Lloyd to marry him. And boy, um, with a little help from his friends. <laughs> and, and here we are today, which is an absolutely marvellous occasion. Um, I think I may have said enough now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the gathering today... Uh, I think the gathering today actually speaks for itself because I have down here, apart from all the friends from the UK, I have down here the people from Australia, Holland, Switzerland, Norway, US, Bahrain, and probably many other countries I've never heard of are here today, Herschel, are here today <laughs> to wish Mickey and Loy well. Now, uh, that's the Mickey part. Oh, <laughs> now we've got a few seconds on Loy, please. One of the bridesmaids, she is a child bride, and she's a mother. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I can tell you. Yep. All I know, all I know about Loy is good, and um, she had a wonderful short business career in building up a company called Next. <laughs> um, brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. It's sold out. Uh, sold out. <laughs> sold out. Um, before starting um, uh, selling with or marketing and selling Mickey with Mickey. Loy um, is also innovative. Um, and uh, an expression of this innovation is that she has an aversion to flying. And uh, as a story, and I, I didn't witness this myself, but I had a vaguer of God, what is coming the out? <laughs> I don't know, The story is uh, <laughs> it's quite simple. She has found her own way of overcoming this fear of flying. <laughs> she went off with a girlfriend who I also don't know. Is here. Is here. Is here. <laughs> went off with a girlfriend 
to some foreign part, like talk to us somewhere. Yes. <laughs> For holidays, quite rightly so. Very good idea. And Mickey and I believe Jason went down. I don't think I'm going to forgive you. To, <laughs> to, to Gatwick to meet his, his beloved Loy and, you know, everything was gouged in the airplane. Hundreds and thousands of people kept on coming down through this corridor, pushing their trolleys and carrying their bags and everything. But no Loy. I know what's her name? Stephanie. I know Stephanie. <laughs> And you can look down this long corridor and it came totally empty. And they waited and waited and it's about ten minutes further on they, later on they heard a beep 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 and one of these luggage trucks <laughs> that one of the flatbed ones that can take a stretcher <laughs> actually was driving down full speed with Loy flat out having started drinking two days before the flight and continuing all the way through the flight with poor Stephanie running after carrying all the bags and the drinks and they both arrived home safely and there was no fear at all <laughs> Right. right, I'd just like to say, uh, from on behalf of the family, because uh, Loy came on the scene about 11 years ago, she has been a wonderful, steady influence upon my brother, yeah. which, was, <laughs> which was A, very necessary, yeah. 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 and B, a most incredible feat to achieve. <laughs> And, and during those 11 years, she has won the hearts of the family, and I believe everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And I would like to say to Loy, and I think she's a wonderful girl, and they're going to be very, very happy together, and I'd like to take a toast to Loy and Nikki. Thank you. This is on behalf of the um, guests, by the way. This is the <laughs> my, my <role. laughs> Now, the speeches are practically over, in fact they could be over, but we have an uninvited guest, <laughs> well, self-invited guest, we didn't invite him, we just heard and, and whether he's a, fr a, fr a friend of the family or not is to be decided as a result of his speech, so we hold our breath, and it's actually Mr. Michael White. <laughs> <laughs> all I say is, thank heavens, Mickey didn't gain all his experience in the same place, or he'd have, he'd have worn a trench down the aisle. <laughs> um, we saw Trevor Bailey, Loy's father, uh, give Loy away, um, and it seemed strange that somebody of such inestimable value as Loy should be given away, uh, especially when she's being married to somebody like Mickey. And so my task today is not so much to give Mickey away as, as offload him. <laughs> and clearly I couldn't have uh, achieved this uh, end by myself, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my backup team, <coughs> who've worked uh, tirelessly for many years, and in particular I'd like to pay tribute to uh, Mickey's hairdresser. <laughs> His wardrobe mistress, <laughs> his masseurs, <laughs> his location director, and last but not least, his makeup artist <laughs> and special effects man. <laughs> Without whom uh, my task would have been impossible. I can assure you, however, that he did all the stunts himself. <laughs> Now, you may wonder how uh, somebody with the name De La Pena um, should marry an English rose in North Oxfordshire. Um, and I would ask you now to uh, cast your minds to uh, downtown Spain, uh, <coughs> very hot, very dusty, um, and a marauding band of peripatetic castanet makers. <laughs> <laughs> and they went round selling their castanets, and the sun beat down and they got very passionate. 
And uh, I've got a long story short, they ravaged most of the women in the district. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the history of the Dilla Pena. <laughs> <laughs> I knew uh, my lawyer had to be here. (laughs) Until the end, in in, in a very wide area, there was only one virgin left. (laughs) And she was located in the the mountain village of Peña. (laughs) Me house. (laughs) I know the the history. (laughs) (laughs) The villagers didn't want to be in the position of having to admit that there wasn't a virgin in the village. So they walled her up. <laughs> this, this, is, this is true. <laughs> and this, this, marauding, this marauding band of castanet makers threw themselves at the rock, scratching away with their castanet, but they couldn't get at her. And they lost a lot of face, and uh, they caught the first ferry to England. But now they stayed in England very briefly, until the uh, invention of the pneumatic drill. <laughs> Whereupon they loaded their donkeys up and took this pneumatic drill back to this mountain. <laughs> but they were very unsophisticated and didn't realise you needed a compressor to run it. <laughs> so no matter how hard they blew down the tube, <laughs> they couldn't get it to work. <laughs> So no, they were they were totally dispirited. Uh, a lot of them shot themselves, <coughs> and the remnants caught another boat back to England. <laughs> they landed in Southampton, and then eventually made their way to what looked like their homeland, which was the Cotswolds. <laughs> <coughs> and there, there they settled. And eventually, Mickey sort of broke away and ended up in Banbury, where where he met Lloyd. <laughs> I pursued Loy for, without success for many years. I think everybody knows that. <laughs> ten, and, ten and a half or something. But as, as Paul hinted, the, the turning point came with the invention of the smoke hood. <laughs> and when she saw a Mickey with one on for the first time... <laughs> By the time the Mark V model, <laughs> which could be which could be worn almost continuously, <laughs> love, love, love finally blossomed. <laughs> God, I can't read my hand. Got a girl of that. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> And uh, which is the reason we're we're here today. Um, and Lloyd, in all fairness, um, has has put Mickey where he is today. If it wasn't for Lloyd, he'd be around at my house drinking all my booze. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just got a few things. Mickey wants it to be known that marriage may alter um, his golf arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> He won't be able to play until about six o'clock this evening. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who contributed to to, uh, Mickey's operation. (laughs) Unfortunately, we got all the money together, but the the surgeon thought it unethical as he wasn't... uh, Continue a, a career as a soprano <laughs> <laughs> and, declined, and declined to carry out the operation. However, he met Mickey at a party some weeks later and he's going to do the operation for nothing. <laughs> uh, brother, brother Paul, incidentally, should have had a pacemaker fitted. <laughs> when he found out Gucci didn't make one, he's all. <laughs> Uh, I've just got a, a, a few telegrams. There's, there's one from Charlene. <laughs> Your kit's on the pavement, you bastard. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
There's one here from Gladys, can I have my key back? <laughs> Another one from Betty, I've changed the lock. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> There's one here from Interpol, but I don't think we're going to. <laughs> Um, and really, um, that's it. Just to wish Vicky and Loy all the happiness. Um, the wonderful people, and thank them very much for having us all as their guest today. Uh, and it is my toast on behalf of the guests. Would you toast Vicky and Loy? Total fabrication, and nobody even invited him anyway. <laughs> I, I would like to. I would like to thank everybody enormously, from both my wife. That's a nice. <laughs> and myself for coming today. It is utterly incredible to us that that, that you come all the way that you've come from America, <coughs> Australia, everywhere, all over the world, as Paul has already said. <laughs> <laughs> we'd also love to thank the, we'd also like, like to thank our, our absolutely charming um, local um, vicar, if I may, uh, yeah, who has, who the parishioners of this, of this parish who have been absolutely sweet and charming and wonderful to us and, and, and made us welcome for the last two and a half years we've lived here, yeah. correct? We've, yes, I think we'd like to drink to the Indeed. village and to our village. Uh, <laughs> but we're not ready yet. <laughs> no, we're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have a lovely mother-in-law and a lovely father-in-law and a lovely family to come alongside as well, and the support of which I've been extremely grateful for over, over the years. Uh, just for a moment, there was the um, story about two cannibals talking together in the jungle, and one said, well, if you don't like your mother-in-law, then just eat the vegetables. <laughs> we thank you, we thank you, we thank you all very much. God bless you all. Cheers. 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 Two two messages of the secretary and I don't know who they're from, man. Actually, I'm going to announce it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bloke coming back giving a load more drinks. Clear the decks. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. And then you went to the
Well, it's my hairdresser. It doesn't, it doesn't sort of.